Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this propped cantilever beam. In this beam, we have the span AB, which is 6 meter long, and we have the overhanging part BC, which is 2 meter long. In the span AB and in the overhanging portion, there is uniformly distributed load 24 kN per meter from the point B. Let us split the beam into two parts, AB and BC. So in the point B, there will be two reactions, RB1 and RB2. To find the moment MB, we have to multiply the uniformly distributed load 24 with the distance and then with the distance by 2, so that for MB, we will get 48 kN meter. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the clockwise direction. So the moment MB will be acting in the anti-clockwise direction in BC and will be acting in the clockwise direction in BA. To find RB, we have to add RB1 and RB2. We can easily find RB2. When we multiply the load 24 with the distance 2, we will get RB2 as 48 kN. Now let us take only this part and find RB1. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and movements are 3. The available equilibrium equations are 2. The degree of static indeterminacy will be 3 minus 2 we will get 1. From the point B, let us release RB1. So the point B becomes a free end. We know the formula to find RB1 minus delta L upon delta. To find both of them, we are going to use unit load method. In the unit load method, we have to make sections. In this beam, there is only one part that is AB. So we have to make only one section. You can see that I have made a section randomly at a distance of x from the point B. Now let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the member. In this beam, there is only one member that is BA. The origin of the section is point B. The limit is 0 to 6. Now we are going to find the moment M from the point B. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anti-clockwise will be positive. The moment M is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. The uniformly distributed load 24 is also acting in the clockwise direction so it is also negative. We know that with the uniformly distributed load, we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. 24 upon 2, it will be 12. x into x, it will be x square. Now we are going to find the moment small m. To find that, we have to remove all of the loads from the beam and to apply unit load in the direction of RB1. Let us find the moment m. The unit load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. 1 into x, it will be x. Now let us find delta L. The formula is integration of mm upon ei dx. Using the formula, we will get this. Now let us find delta. The formula is integration of m square upon ei dx. Using the formula, we will get 72 upon EI. In this formula, we have found both of the values. Let us apply them. Finally, for RB1, we will get 66 kN. Now, using the rule, sigma V is equal to 0, we can find RA. Let us take moment about A and find MA. RB1 is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So that it will be positive and the distance is 6. So 66 into 6. The moment 48 is acting in the clockwise direction. So that it will be negative. 
the uniformly distributed load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative we know that with the udl we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2 let us assume that ma is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be positive finally for ma we will get a positive value that means our assumption is correct now let us consider the overhanging part also to find rb we have to add rb1 and rb2 so that we will get 114 kN then using the right hand side rule we can find the shear force values here you can see the shear force diagram in this point the shear force becomes zero in this point there will be maximum positive bending moment let us make a section in this point and find the distance you can see that in that point i have made a section at a distance of x from the point a we know that in this section the shear force is zero using that concept we can find x now let us find the maximum positive bending moment we can use right hand side rule ma is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be negative or a is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.25 the uniformly distributed load is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be negative we know that with the udl we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2 for the maximum positive bending moment we will get 42.75 let us find the bending moment in the point a in the point a we have ma which is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be negative to find the bending moment in the point b we can use the left hand side rule the uniformly distributed load 24 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative we know that with this load we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2 for the bending moment at b we will get minus 48 we have already found it before here you can see the bending moment diagram in these two points the bending moment becomes a zero these are the point of contraflexures we can make sections in the beam and find the distances in those two points i have made sections at a distance of x from the point a now using the right hand side rule we can find the moment which is zero then we will get this equation then using the calculator we can find the values of x this x is 1.362 and this x is 5.137 now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video